Hello, beautiful people. Before we get into it, I just want to say that this video is not meant to hurt, bully, or harass anybody. Anything I say is to be taken as a joke. Don't take me serious, and if I hurt your feelings, get over it. Today, we are talking about that vegan teacher. This narcissistic, hypocritical bird skeleton has been making fun and trying to publicly shame YouTubers for simply eating meat. I don't mean to spread drama. I just think the shit is getting tiring, and I'm very tired of seeing the vegan teacher bully people simply because they're not vegan. It's a shitty way to go about your life. Literally, your whole identity is just being vegan and making other people vegan. Which actually isn't that good for you, just so you fucking know. She actually brings up this debate about gorillas and how they don't need protein. Alright, it's true, right? Elephants are vegan. Hippos are vegan. Rhinos are vegan. Gorillas. Isn't that amazing? People who think that they need protein from animals is wrong. It, it's, just, it's just a crazy myth. You can absolutely be super strong just by eating plants. Newsflash, gorillas don't need to eat protein because they grow their own protein in their bacteria that thrive in their gut. The gorilla consumes the vegetation to feed the bacteria colonies in the microbiome of its gut. It absorbs the fucking protein formed by bacteria as they feast on the cellulose fibers of the vegetation. Which means they don't need to eat meat to gain fucking weight or anything. They don't need protein at all. They simply have evolved to eating plants. They have a whole different biome in their stomach. It's built completely different to humans. You can't use a different animal to argue on being vegan for humans. It doesn't make sense. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like saying we don't need to eat plants because lions don't eat plants. It makes no fucking sense. We're different animals. Humans are still a part of the food chain, meaning we still have to eat. And if you want to get so scientific, we can do that. I can do that. If you think that what you're doing is so great, why are you causing plants pain? Did you know an actual study found that frequencies from animals, so let's say a giraffe is walking by and a tree is about to get eaten. The tree will literally pick up vibrations, noise, anything it can, electrical signals from the fucking giraffe and it will release a chemical in the tree to make the leaves taste bad. The fucking tree knows it's about to get eaten. And not only that, that tree will communicate with other fucking trees and those trees will produce these same chemicals so that they taste bad. Vegan teacher. If you're going to spread anything, at least give us actual statistics and real information. You can't just say things and expect the whole internet to believe you. You can Google everything I just said. It's at your fingertips. Good luck. She literally claims that if you eat meat, you are debatably worse than Hitler. She said that. And if it, I'll play it. If you're not vegan, one could even argue that you are worse than Hitler because he was crazy. Everybody knows it but we know that you're not crazy, yet you make the same choices to hurt the innocent, and not just one time in your life, all the time, three times a day, repeatedly. How is it that vegans can say that Hitler was a terrible person for stripping down individuals and bringing them into gas chambers, but when their own family members pay for six-month-old baby pigs to be murdered in the same way, somehow, that seems to them to be excusable. Whether you are Hitler or the average person who lives next door to you, or your boss or your employee or your brother or your sister or your cousin or your mother or your father, if you are somebody who pays people to hurt innocent animals, you are not a good person. So why is it that vegans are so afraid to admit this? Well, the truth is that we have a hard time coping with this fact. We have a hard time coping with the fact that people who do otherwise good things in our lives 
who are kind to us. If we fall, they pick us up. If we're sad, they'll talk to us. And if we need money, they will give us money. It, the truth of the matter is that if we have people like that in our families, we have a hard time imagining that they are bad people. Even if they have the corpses of animals right there on their plates, we somehow just pretend that's not happening. But it is happening. And they are not kind people at their core. So anyway, Miss Vegan here claims to spread kindness and positivity around the fucking world, when in reality, she bullies everyone who doesn't agree with her. An example of this is when she brings up Chris's traumatic past and compares it to the food that we eat, the way that we treat animals. This is Call Me Chris. She's an actor. She's such a good actor, she can play at least 30 different characters. Here, she's talking about something that happened to her a long time ago. A, a personal a that she suffered through. My question is this. If you don't like the fact that you were pinned down and assaulted, why do you pay people to do this to other females? You make fun of animal defenders who are defending cows, chickens, pigs, lambs, turkeys, all kinds of other females who are abused in the industry. She literally goes as far as to make a fake phone call to Chris, which you can see right here. There's nothing on her screen. The phone is blank. When you're going shopping, just put... Hello? Chris? What? No? No, in fact, I was just doing a video about you. Yeah, I was also gonna mention the fact that you're promoting those shoes that are vegan, but you're not even vegan yourself. You're full of shit. Why are you calling me? No, I don't actually like you. No, I don't like you or Sniper Wolf. I think you're both two-faced. I think you're shallow. You're animal abusers, that's what you are. And I'm gonna call you out until you change or at least until your audience changes, even if you guys never do. Listen, you know what? Just don't call me again. Bye. Chris, I don't care if you have 50 million followers on TikTok. It's irrelevant. You still have a moral obligation not to hurt the animals. You have to be vegan. Yes! Yes, right away! Just to call Chris a bad person. Now, if you had a reason to call Chris a bad person, this is hypothetical as fuck. Don't take this fucking seriously at all. This next part, I'm dead ass just joking. Let's say Chris and Oompaville, they got exposed as sex traffickers. That's a bad thing! But guess fucking what? They are not. They just eat meat, dude. Again, I don't mean to offend uh, Chris and Oompaville. Love you guys, please. Don't take that offensive. I, it really isn't meant towards you. I just don't understand why the vegan teacher is on your ass about all this. And I'm not even a known YouTuber. I'm literally one of the viewers. I'm actually one of you guys, and it's just frustrating to see that somebody that wants to spread kindness around the world is such a fucking bitch to everybody that doesn't agree with her. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and a very special thank you to Rogue Shinobi. It's so nice to fucking see a Naruto fan in here. Naruto is goaded, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a very good day.